Hi sweeties, welcome to Crochet Diva. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful crochet hoop earrings with beads. So let's check out the materials we need to make it. For this tutorial I have used Aunt Lydia's crochet thread classic size 10. It's 100% mercerized cotton. Also it has really lovely shades of blue color. You will need crochet hook size 1.00 mm and scissors. In order to make the earrings you will need 15 beads for each earring and a sewing needles. I have used two earring hooks then two earring hoops and four small jump ring and two medium jump rings. Also you will need a plier to put all of the accessories together. Start with the medium jump ring and blue yarn. We are going to make a slip knot now. After that insert your hook in the hole of the jump ring and grab the loop. Now we are going to do a chain one. Next we will do 15 single crochet around this medium jump ring. So to do the single crochet insert your hook, grab the loop. You can see you have two loops, yarn over and pull through these two loops. So this is your first single crochet. I already have done one so this is the second one. Two single crochet, three, four single crochet, then five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. This is the first stitch of this round. So I'm going to join here, I will make a slip stitch to join. So insert your hook into the stitch, it's gonna be a bit tricky as this is the first one. And then yarn over, pull up a lip and pull through. I will do chain one and trim off the yarn. Cut your yarn off by using a scissor. I will tighten up the loop. We just have finished the first part of this earring hoop. Please don't forget to weave in the yarn ends and trim off any extra yarn left. Now we are going to work with the hoop. So first I'm going to close this open end by using a plier. I'm trying to secure it properly so that it doesn't come out late. After that thread your normal sewing needle with the blue yarn and pick up all of these bits. Here I have used 15 for each earrings. Be careful don't prick your fingers. These are the 15 bits I'm going to use for this project. Now we'll start the second part of this earring. So I'm going to make a slip knot. Grab your earring hook and set the hook into the hole of the earring hook. Grab the loop and pull it up. Next, I'm going to do a chain around this hook. So this is my first chain. Now I'm going to do one single crochet around this hoop. So this is my first single crochet. Next I will do 40 more single crochet. 
so this is the second then third then fourth and fifth in this way I'm going to do all together 41 single crochet around this hoop I will be back after doing all of these stitches As you can see I'm doing the last stitch of this round this is the 41th stitch and you can have a look how it looks like after doing all of this 41 single crochet in this round next I will do chain one yarn over and pull through and then turn the earring hook we are going to work for the next round round number two we are in round two now so start round two by making a single crochet into the first stitch so I made one single crochet in the first stitch then I'm going to make one single crochet in each of the next four stitch the second third fourth single crochet then fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and in this way we are going to do 41 single crochet in second round I'll be back after doing all of these single crochet stitches as you can see I have reached the end of this round number two so I'm working the last stitch it's a bit tricky to find the last stitch it always hides so I'm going to do the last single crochet in the last stitch this is the 41th stitch this is how the earring looks like after doing round two going to finish this round by making a chain and then turn the earring hoop we are in round three we'll start round three by making a slip stitch in the first stitch to make the slip stitch inside your hook grab a loop then pull through the first loop this is how we are going to make a slip stitch we will do 13 slip stitch so one slip stitch in each stitch so this is the third slip stitch third one then fourth fifth sixth I already have done six of them make sure you count your slip stitches you need to do 13 all together then seven eight nine ten twelve and thirteen keep the tension of the th thread bit loose when you do slip stitches at this point we are going to add those beads we have inserted so I have 15 beads here I will show you how I have added those beads one by one so first I will put the beads in the middle of a stitch so here you go then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch grab the yarn pull up a loop have two loops yarn over and pull through make sure your bead is in middle of the stitch 
so you are not working in the beads but you are keeping it in the middle of the stitch so I'm doing the next one putting the beads in the middle of two stitch and then crop the yarn pull up a loop yarn over and pull through these two loops I will show you again so I'm going to keep the bead in the middle of a stitch and then pull up a loop yarn over and pull through so I'm just doing my normal single crochets here I will do 15 of them I already have done three as you can see how they looks like I'm going to do the next one this is the fourth who goes into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through in this way I'm going to do 15 single crochets I'll be back after adding all of these beads I have done 15 single crochet with the beads now I'm going to do one slip stitch in each of the next 13 stitches so pull up a loop and then pull through the first loop in this way we are going to do 13 of them while doing slip stitches do not forget to keep the tension of this ear little bit loose so that it comes out really nicely I'm nearly at the end of this round so I will do a chain and trim the yarn off here so I'm cutting the yarn off this is how the earring hook looks like after doing the first turning at this point waving the yarn ends and trim off any extra yarn left next quickly I will show you how I have added the jump ring and the hoop together we are going to use two small jumper ring for each of these earring hoops and a plier now pick up a small jumper ring and with the help of the plier open up a small opening so that you can insert it to the hook now i'm going to add this jumper ring to the earring hoop like this I'm going to add it to the end of earring hoop. After doing this, use the plier to close up the opening tightly. Add the other small jumper ring to the other small circle. I'm going to add it to any stitch of the small circle. Keep the jump rings opening still open as we are going to add it to the other small jump ring. Now with the help of the plier, after adding these two jump rings, close up the opening. Make sure they don't come out of each other. So I'm trying to close up tightly. This is how it will look after doing these steps next open up the earring hook add this earring hook to the top middle of the little ring now with the help of the plier close up the opening this is how it will look like after closing up the opening after finishing both of my earring hoops look how beautiful they came out they look really really gorgeous thank you for watching this tutorial if you like it don't forget to watch the other earring tutorials in my channel and happy crocheting